Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I have a really cool project I want to show you. This one is for cards, but it's actually to hold cards. We're going to be decorating a card box. Now, the card box I'm going to be decorating is for a graduation. And I'm just showing you a couple tools that you'll need to assemble, including the fabulous cut cardstock paper. So we've got a few tools assembled, a box and the paper. A we Are Memory Keepers letter board, some dowels and some pop dots. So let's get started on how we assemble. The first thing you're gonna do is cut the basis gray paper from the Fabulous Cut Cardstock Company into three by five pieces. Make sure the three by five pieces are exact and I'm gonna need five of them because I'm gonna turn these into letters and it's going to spell the word cards. So this one only required one sheet of cut cardstock. Again, this is the basis gray paper and it is cut into three by five strips. Let me just get the final one cut here. All right, and like I said, we're gonna need five pieces because I'm spelling the word cards. And now I'm going to show you how I make the letter C with the We Are Memory Keepers letter board. Now the letter board that I'm using is the large letter board. There is also a small letter board as well. And this is a really cool tool if you are one who works with cardstock papers often. This you can turn into practically any letter you want or number. And I love it for things like party banners and uh, decorating for scrapbooks and so forth. So if you're considering buying a tool out there, this one is one of the most functional ones out there and the cut cardstock paper works amazing in this particular tool. So I'm kind of just showing you the steps for how to cut the letter C just as a demonstration, but I would recommend that you actually go and buy the tool which will come with the instruction for how to make all of the letters. I went ahead and cut that last little strip there. I missed a piece. And I wanna show you what happens if you don't cut your three by five exactly correct. It does leave a little edge, so make sure that you are measuring accurately for your letters. What's cool about this board is it also has a corner rounder, which I've used for other projects as well. This one's just rounding the letter C for me. And it's super functional and super easy. It basically does all the work for you, so you don't have to do any cutting or thinking or measuring. And there we have it, there's the letter C. So here's a couple still pictures of some of the other letters and how they kind of come together and their instructions are really easy to follow. String it on some twine after you hole punch a couple holes. Okay, I'm moving on to the name that's gonna go on the box next and I've chosen several different colors and I'm cutting these out with my Cricut Joy. So I'm starting with the basis white paper. I'm using that one first and that's gonna be my base for a couple other colors I've chosen with cut cardstock, which is the pop tone black licorice paper. This letter is being glued onto the basis white. And then we're gonna actually add this in a 3D color to the pop tone wild cherry red. So take a couple pop dots and apply them to the back of your letter. And I'm gonna use several just to make sure that I don't lose any in the process and they don't fall off. Add a couple more here. All right. And I love the look of this because with this varsity letter look that I've chosen through the Cricut library, it gives it sort of a 3D effect. It's really kind of a neat title. I've chosen these colors specifically from the cardstock papers because these are the colors of my son's high school. So here's one of the letters and go ahead and assemble them all. And then we're ready to glue it to our box. Now, like I said, I chose this box from a local craft store, but you can use this for practically any box you want. This is a really cool way to do this that will become a gift later. Now I did lay it out ahead of time just so I was making sure I was putting it right in the center of the box. We don't want any unevenness going on. And tacky glue works amazing with wood with the concept that if he wanted to take the name off later, he can. It's very easy to remove, but it also will hold really, really well. 
Let me add my last letter here. We're gonna put this on and we're gonna let it dry. And I am so excited about how this is turning out. Okay, so once that's dry, we're going to actually add the banner part next. This also will be removed later. So I'm using the tacky glue again because I find it to be very sturdy but also easy to remove. And I'm going to take a couple dowels and just liberally apply the tacky glue to the bottom part of the dowel. And we're gonna glue it to the two corners of the box. This will hold up my banner. Now as I stick it in, I'm sort of lifting it up about an inch just so I can get a little more height out of my banner. Just let it stick, see how nicely that just applies there. Add some more glue to the other dowel and stick that in the corner as well. And then I just put this aside and let it dry, laid it on its side until it was completely dry. And finally strung my banner that says cards across the top. Is this not a cool card box for a graduation? All right, I gotta drop my card off and get going. Thanks for joining me on this project today, everyone. See you next time.